if we like it's basically really simple so if i copy this and paste it and if i pull it over here and let me put this here if i connect this by pressing shift you will see that i have added another point and if i connect it over here what i'm seeing now is basically two attractors and if you pay attention you see that the panels that are close to my attractor point is having larger glazings and the ones that are far away from my attractor point in this case the ones that are close to the center they have smaller glazings and when i move over to this attractor point you see we have like this kind of repulsion and kind of an attraction that is being followed by our points attractor points and this is pretty simple and obviously it's not this video is not that and you can increase the sizes you can add more obviously this video is not about this adding the second attractor but let's have another variation of this facade system what we can do i mean i'm not going to go into super detail of it but why don't we have this kind of like surfaces why don't we have this scaled versions preview let me preview this off why don't we have this scaled versions going in and out like having more like a three-dimensional kind of uh, cassettes in between okay so the glazings will be going in and out in order to perceive it that what i can do is i can say okay this time what i'll be doing i can take this and move these geometries but how i would like to move them if i just want to move them it obviously go up with the z vector with my move default move component but what i want to have is i want to have the normal of this surface right the normal of this face and how i can extract that i can extract that by using again a bounding surface boundary surface sorry and evolve, if I evaluate that surface and if I grab the area of this, you see it's giving me a normal, but it's asking me a UV coordinate, UV point. So in order to extract the UV point, I will go to my surface tab and under analysis, I'll grab surface closest point. Connect my surface, connect my point, and this will be my UV point. And if I put this in, and if I display my vector, vector display, you see, this is my point for anchor, and this is my normal. You see, I have extracted all the normals of these surfaces, right? So this is, what uh, this is my motion this is going to be my motion vector so i can maybe put this guys in and preview this all off preview this all off. so what i can do is i can take this guy and move this right this time so if i grab a move component for the motion, what I can have is go to my vector tab under vector, I can grab an amplitude. Amplitude meaning you can connect the vector and you can put a value. So if I put this value in, you see all my surfaces go by two or let's say one, let's put one here. Two is too much. And you see it's going in or out, in or out. All right. And if I want to connect this, maybe what I can do here is I can do another kind of an organization, kind of organization. And what I can do is I can, since this is going to be my glazing, right? I can grab my opening thing here. Copy this and paste. And put this as my 
opening. But one thing here is, obviously, if you want to do something as such, you probably want to go with the other direction. So you want to put your amplitude to the negative value, right? Since it's a glazing and you want it to go back and forth, back and forth. And what we can do now is basically we can say, we can loft this time. If you loft this curve, you see, this is my curve. This is, sorry, this is my starting curve, right? And if I connect this guy to my loft, and if I take this one and connect this over here, you see, I have my sets that are moving all over the place. And you know what we can do is we can basically reconnect or recreate this. Now, by the way, why don't we recolor them with white so that when we come back, we remember this. We color this white and we, when we come back, we remember this. And if we do something, I don't know, like let's say, um, edit this like minimum to 0 0.25 max like negative and maximum 0 0.25 okay and if i put this in to my vector over here let's see what we are having we are having basically a loft surface and that can be my Copy and paste it. My panel here. Here you want. Put this back in. Add to this group. And yeah, you see, these are my like cassettes. And when I move over, move over my attractor points, my cassettes are following, or their depths are being changed. They are going in or out, in or out. If they are close to my attractor point, maybe I can pull it over to a corner so that we can easily see. So you see, when they are close to my attractor point, they go back. And when they are far away from my attractor point, they go out. Okay, so that's basically that's basically sort of a sort of a variation of this facade system and you can follow the same procedure for the up curve as well and how we can do that we will be using the same logic as we are doing here so i'll be copying all this maybe i can color this all white so i will remember again this into white, color this into white, and add this to this group. And you know, copy this and paste it in here, and obviously, copy this and paste it over here. And this time, my point is going to be this point and my map value is going to be here my surface is going to be this surface and the loft is going to be in between sorry the loft is going to be in between this curve and this curve and if I make this black if I preview the vectors off vector display off
and yeah that's that's pretty much what we have here and if i zoom in oops hold on the black ones we don't see a particular going in and out or do we see that oh yeah we see that okay, okay we see that too all right so that is pretty much what we have for this video and in the next one i'll be talking about how we can clean this mess a bit better and yeah that's pretty much it we have this cassette radiation now and i'll see you in the next one